What is up YouTube? High Tech Lab here. Today I'm out in the shop showing you guys a cool project I built. Uh, I'm gonna get started by welding up some stainless and uh, show you what I got going on. So here we are at the cleaning bench. Uh, this is just an uh, old work table that we just decided to use for this uh, scenario. This is in the detailing department, so this is where things are getting cleaned up. What I have here is I have a cord coming from, from that plug strip over there, and that sends power here into this box. Now this box is a custom stainless steel box that I had designed and programmed our laser cutter to cut out and then we bent up with the press brake. Um, I tacked the ends of it and uh, what you see is what you get. Now this has been in use for uh, actually close to six months. Um, this is revision four because the first three revisions all were burning up the components inside and I'll get into that here in a minute. So what this does is I have here in this dish some of this Wal Walter uh, Surfox Dash T. Uh, this is stainless steel weld cleaning electrolyte. Um, just bought this online, and we have here the the machine that you can buy much more expensive machines that are designed to do this for like three grand, but I'm in like maybe a hundred and hundred bucks or so and it does exactly the same thing. So we have this acid here in this bin, and we have this wand, and it's just a piece of stainless tubing with a quarter 20 nut welded in the end, and you can get this brush online on uh, various different websites, links in the description. Flip the switch on, you'll see the fan starts to turn. And if I dip this in here, now this table is connected to, um, to the other side of the power supply. This is actually 24 volts AC if memory serves correctly, but I'll show you that here in a minute. So the table's grounded, so anything I put on here can uh, pass current through this brush and through this acid. Now over here are the welds, and they're not the best welds, but these are average welds for our shop. We're a uh, production grade stainless steel fabricator. And let me show you what this does. It uses the AC voltage and current and it passes it through that acid. And if you notice, it does its thing. Clean it up. And I'll show you this, I'll wipe this off and show you here in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off, okay? And then we have this neutralizer here, which cleans up, it, it just makes the acid no longer acidic um, because otherwise it can continue to oxidize. Um, I forget exactly what this is a mixture of, but I believe it's um, it's part water, and I forget what the neutralizer is. But as you can see, that weld you just saw is now nice and shiny, and just with a little touch from a uh, Scotch-Brite pad, you can put the grain right back in it, and you can barely even tell that that was welded. Uh, to see that again, I'll grab this here wand get the excess acid off and you can watch again and i believe this is called pickling but we just call it the acid machine um this acid is not actually harmful for your skin and stuff it's just uh it's when you pass the electricity through it it actually can do anything so as you can see running back and forth a bit cleaning up all that Gunge. Now this only works if you're, um, put this down, this only works if your stainless welds are not um, oxidized. So if they have a layer of black on top, like you can see where this tack is because it was lift arc TIG, it left an oxidized part and you can see at the end the little crater in there. Um, it won't clean oxidized welds, but if you have uh, nice clean, I guess colorful is the easiest way to put it welds. It works quite well But you have to make sure you neutralize the acid otherwise it continues to uh, Slightly oxidize the material and as you can see that weld is nice and clean 
and ready to to go out now this is just a test piece so there's a little bit more cleanup we would do on a normal production level piece um, but that's just proof of concept what this machine does what's in the box you may ask well very good question i'm going to pull off the lid and you'll notice inside we have two things we have well actually a few things we have a fan to bring nice cool air through so it's put sucking air in and blowing across the transformer and exiting through the air vents on the back we have our cables coming in here they go through right here and are connected onto the transformer and the transformer is actually wired for 12 volts now this is a 150 uh, VA or volt amp uh, transformer so um, ignoring power factor it's pretty much 150 watts now what I'm doing is I have my power cord here and I'm taking the neutral off that power cord going into this wire nut here and running into the lamp I then come out of the lamp through this red wire and go straight onto the transformer and then off the other side of the transformer go to my uh, power switch here that's this red wire here is tied in. And then uh, also across the power switch and neutral is the fan. So pretty much what we're doing is we're running the power through the light bulb, through the transformer, through the switch, and then back through the, through the cord. That's going from um, neutral to hot. Now this light bulb is 150 watts. And the reason I have that there is because the resistance of the light bulb will only let 150 watts through the transformer. And if you actually take note, if I turn this on, now this is shorted in the bowl. But as, as you start putting load on this, you'll notice that that light bulb gets varying different uh, intensities as more and more load is put on the machine. So what that's essentially doing is it's being a uh, current limiting uh, device and that keeps the transformer from blowing up. Now, like I said, the fan is just across the switch in neutral. That way the fan is not a part of the current limiting. It gets the full potential. But that's what's inside the box. Sorry if that was loud for headphone users. Uh, and that's how you can clean stainless steel without any real abrasives, just using the, the chemical. And I'll show you here a few places where this is really handy. So here is a standard uh, scrap basket we build. Um, here, this is not really the best example, but right now we just emptied the shop out, so there's a lot of uh, examples not present. So what we have is this is supposed to be welded all the way up this side, and there's no real tool that's small enough to get into that little crevice. Um, so up here where it was easy to be polished, that was polished out and put the grain was put back. But down here, that's a great case for that acid machine is because it can get into those nooks and crannies and it doesn't need a wheel or stone to be able to spin in there in order to remove that top layer of weld to make it shiny and restore the grain. So that is one place where we would use that acid machine is that kind of, that kind of tight location. As you can see here some more, there's brown in that corner. That machine removes that brown right off. Thank you guys for watching. And if you want to see more videos from the shop, um, kind of the stainless industry I work in, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to see more electrical related videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel. My name is High Tech Lab, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.